I'm Joe Wallace for GearWire.com and with Mark Williams of PreSonus and you've got some new stuff unveiling here at Music Mesa. Tell us a little bit about the first one here. Okay, this is our newest FireWire interface that's part of the Fire Studio family called the Fire Studio Light Pipe. It has 32 channels of ADAT Light Pipe input or you can do 16 channels at 96K if you want to. It's a very straightforward device in that it's got your light pipe inputs on the back, inputs and outputs, BNC for word clock, MIDI, your firewire ports, and then you've also got headphone outputs and your main outputs as well. It builds on the firewire chipset that we use for the Fire Studio 52, which is the TC Electronics DICE 2 chipset, which also incorporates Jet PLO, which is a jitter elimination technology that stabilizes the word clock so that you get a better overall resolution of your audio. It's also similar to the Fire Studio in that it uses a similar mixing uh, matrix so to where you can go into the control panel and create two different headphone stereo submixes. So it's going to be zero latency so you can route one of the headphone output and then the other output to the main output as well. We're showing it here at the Mesa for the first time and it'll be shipping in approximately 60 days. Now, uh, what kind of dilemma is this going to create for somebody who's looking at PreSonus and they're not sure which one, which thing to buy? Well, what we do with PreSonus is we've tried to create a different product for different categories and for different needs. We have a term in Louisiana called lanyap, which means a little something extra. So we try to put a little extra feature into every product to give it uh, a little added value to it as well. So we've got multiple products at different price points and different feature sets. So the Fire Studio light pipe is more for a person who maybe is using a digital console like a Yamaha DM2000 or a Tascam digital mixer or a Mackie digital mixer or somebody who has their own converters or maybe the Digimax FS which is one of our more recent preamps. So it's geared towards either a person with their own, com own converters or own preamps or towards a person who's in a live sound environment. Now, if they're looking for something more portable, they may want to look at the Firebox or the uh, Inspire or a piece like that. Or if they're looking for pre more preamps, and they can look towards the FirePod or the Fire Studio. And what about this model? What's the ideal use for this? Ideal for this would be um, maybe in a live sound or a fixed install environment where you've got a digital console and you want to be able to capture that sound while doing live sound at the same time. So we see that in particular in um, in, in the U.S., maybe in the um, in the worship market, or also in a live sound, or um, or even in a broadcast environment as well. All right, thanks very much. I'm Joe Wallace for GearWire.com. We're at Music Messa in Frankfurt, Germany, at the PreSonus booth.